Hello, this is Daniel, owner of ManyBidets.com. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Toto NeoRest RH. Both the AH and the RH use the same base. So this base would be used for either of those. The top is different, but we're gonna start by unboxing the, the bottom. What we need to do is we need to push these little um, little clips through so that they're no longer impeding this top portion from sliding up. You're going to have four of these, one on each corner. So we're going to push each of these through. And then one left. Now you'll notice on both sides there's handles, so when you're carrying this originally, you have two handles on either side, making it very easy to carry. Um, recommend carrying it while these are out, not pushed in. So once you're ready to start disassembling, don't carry it with those handles or be more careful with them. Now that all four are pushed in, this top portion should slide off fairly simply. Might be getting caught on one of the corners. There we go. And there we are. So here's the top portion, which was a sleeve, which slid over this section and we can see here we have a uh, we have a pretty basic base but you can see it's reinforced on the sides it's pretty sturdy you could technically lift it with just this sleeve um, without the cardboard ripping or anything I would I would guess so pretty heavy duty um, you're going to notice up here in the top we have a variety of pieces which we'll talk about in a moment in the front we have these side pieces are going to cover up the back of the toilet. So here in the back, we can see we have holes where the toilet mounts. This obviously is not something that you want visible. These covers cover up this area in the back. They're adhered with some Velcro, as you can see. In the top, we have a bag, and this bag includes our installation manual, some, uh, some warning information. Uh, this warning information talks about how you have to install the flange adapter before installing the bowl. We're going to do another video on installation, so this will be clear as to why when we do that video. And then the ever important mounting template. So this would go on the floor next to, um, or on top of, I should say, where you're installing your toilet. And it basically shows you where to drill holes to allow for the mounting hardware to sit in place. So it shows you where all the holes need to be drilled uh, for a proper installation. Very important. Also in this bag, we have all of the hardware. So here's some, some of the screws, etc., that you would need. And then here is that mounting piece that was referenced in this warning sheet. So this mounts on top of your flange or the drain hole with the wax ring. This is something that um, is a little bit unique because most of the time when you're talking about a standard toilet, the toilet itself grips on top of the flange. In a scenario like this, this actually sets on the flange and this rubber gasket up here at the top connects to a, a um, the drain hole in the bottom of the toilet. So a little bit of a different design. You also have this 
little um, cable, and the cable operates a flapper inside this apparatus that allows you to have a manual flush if you lose power. So that's another important thing to note. And last but not least, we have this box. Inside of this box, we are going to have our connectors. So this is a little bit of a unique T connector. Uh, so this actually screws into the, the water supply, the wall itself, and takes the place of your existing T connector. Um, so a little bit of uh, an important thing to note. And then here's an elbow. We'll talk about this a little bit later. And then an extension. Again, we'll talk about this in more detail later. And a washer. So that's what's inside of that box. This little sheet that's also in that box shows how they connect. Uh, so this can come out of the wall. If it comes out of the wall, you're not going to use the extension. Uh, if it comes out of the floor, you're probably going to use the extension because you don't want that sitting right on the floor. So basically that kind of shows you how those three pieces work together. Uh, it also gives you some instructions on how not to install it. So helpful little piece there. All right, so that wraps up what we have to look at as far as the uh, the bowl portion and unboxing. Now we're going to take a look at opening up the top portion of the Toto NeoRest RH. So keep in mind the bottom portion of the Toto NeoRest RH is the same for the RH as it is for the AH, but the top portion is where things differ. It's really a style difference. Uh, the actual uh, features and internals are the same. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and open up the top of the RH now so that you can see what it looks like. Okay. So you're going to see for starters that we have some instructions here on how to properly open this. Uh, so you can see there's actually some handles that you can use to help lift it and they walk you through not lifting it by the lid, not lifting it by the base, but actually using the handles. So that is definitely important. You can kind of probably see it a little bit better in the screenshot right there. We have manuals galore. So we have, uh, we have actually a couple things in this box. So we have the safety precautions, but we also have this little plastic instructions guide. So this actually, uh, we'll talk about mounting the controls for the NeoRest onto the wall, but when you mount the controls onto the wall, the, the wall mount, which the remote um, clips into and out of, has three screws. Those three screws can also go through these three holes and then this instruction um, this instruction guide basically sits right above the uh, the remote so that you can see what the options on the remote on the front are and also what the options along the top are. Uh, and so this will help, especially if you set the if you install the wall mount high enough that you can't see the top of the remote when seated. This will help. So that's what that is. Also inside of this box or this bag, I should say, are the precautions and the safety instructions. All right. So Toto makes this fun. Uh, <laughs> you do not need all of the manuals that are in here. You get three manuals and you will use one Toto Neo Rest AH and RH instruction manual pretty straightforward to figure out what this is this is the instruction manual in English they also give you a French and Spanish version of the instruction manuals so all three automatically come with your with your toilet uh, obviously 
keep the one that makes the most sense for you to keep and you can probably recycle the other two. We'll go ahead and put these back. Pretty good manual. Um, you can kind of see the, the details in here, but pretty straightforward manual, pretty well done. Um, so yeah, definitely something good to keep handy. We'll go ahead and put these back in here for now. And now here we have the instructions on how to lift this seat out of the box. So you can see that right there. Over here on the side, we have the remote control along with a couple of batteries. So we'll take a look at that here in a little bit. We have a cover. And we also have a couple of additional screws. We'll talk about these later. And then we have the seat. So let's see how these handles work for me real quick. Actually, I'm gonna follow this to the T. So I'm gonna lift up the lid in the seat. And then I am going to grab these handles to lift this out. And that is how you lift this out of the box. So you can see there's these handles here. Uh, when I first opened the box, the handles were like this. So I basically came in from the inside, pushed the handles out so that I wasn't pushing the handles against the plastic. And then you can just lift with both of those. So that's how they recommend that you lift it out of the box. The reason is obviously there's, there's pretty obvious reasons why we wouldn't want to lift from the lid itself. But the bottom side of this seat has a lot of electronics in it. So they don't really want you lifting from that either, which is why they give you this handy little carrying case. That's all that's in the box. Now let's take a look at the mounting hardware, screws, and everything else that's included with your purchase to make your installation complete and successful. Thanks for watching our unboxing video today. Feel free to check out our website at manybidets.com. You can live chat us there. You can also call us or text us at the number in the description. Send us an email via the email in the description. Feel free to reach out however you see best.